Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Aubrey, and this is my wife, Janet. Today, and then again on Friday, we're going to look at two passages from Paul's magnificent letter to the Ephesian church. The first passage is chapter 4, verses 1 to, set, uh, to, 1 to 6, and it's set in the context of Paul's challenge to us to go deeper and deeper into God's love, both in terms of our understanding of it and our experience of it as well. And then he makes a further challenge to us in verses 1 to 6 of chapter 4. In the light of God's great love for us, strive now to live in harmony with each other. So Janet's going to read us chapter 4 of Ephesians, verses 1 to 6. Therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling. For you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body and one spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, in all, and living through all. Well, let's pray together. Gracious Father, we praise you and thank you for the amazing grace and love you show to us every moment of every day. Thank you that it is while we were yet sinners that Christ died for us and clothed us with his righteousness. So as we go about our ordinary lives today, will you fill us with the power of the Holy Spirit so that we might honour you in all that we say, think and do? In particular, will you help us to live in harmony and unity with every member of your family, the church? Will you help us to make allowances for the faults we see in others, recognising that we too have many faults and failings, and yet you love us deeply? Help us to love others as you love us. Through your Spirit's power, help us this day to be humble and gentle and to make every effort to live at peace with everyone we meet recognising God's sovereignty over all. Amen. Amen. Well, have a great day and enjoy every moment of it.